Hey everybody! Let's suppose, for the sake of supposing, since everyone always asks me about finding those veins, finding the heart veins, let's just suppose that everyone or that sits down in your chair, they're not going to look like so. You can kind of see my veins. But misconception, you see them, they're good. No, it's all about what you feel. However, everybody doesn't look like this or feel like this, right? And I think this is what you guys have been asking. Now, I'll try. I know the chick, Clarissa, you guys met her. If she's here later today or one day soon, this week, I'm gonna try to get with her because I don't think her veins are as prominent as mine. But when you put on your tourniquet, when you put the tourniquet on your patient, See here, I haven't done this in a minute. I haven't stuck myself for yes, I have what a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Anyway, for those of you who are here for the first time, please go ahead and thumbs up this video. Subscribe, you know what? Let's do the left. <laughs> My veins are about the same on both sides, but I just kind of want to go over like how to find those hard veins. And we think they're hard because we don't see them. I think lots of times when we put the tourniquet on a patient or a patient sits in our chair or we go to the room to stick a patient, if we don't see those veins, we automatically think that it's gonna be hard. And by doing that, we've already mentally prepared ourselves for failure. So stop doing that. Stop it, stop it. It's not about what you see. You have to put the tourniquet on the patient's arm. And if they're bedside, you know, of course they relax in the bed. Sometimes you can let, have the arm fall off the bed because gravity, gravity, think gravity will help you find the veins you think that are not there. So in my case, however, they pop right up, right? And this is what you want. You want people like this all the time, but you're not gonna get people like this all the time. So you don't want the tourniquet too tight. Another misconception, you gotta really tie that tourniquet tight. This hurts. I have my tourniquet really tight. So just think, practice with the tourniquet on yourself. See what it feels like. If it's pinching, if it's pulling, that hurts a patient. So anyway, yeah, tourniquet on tight enough for comfort um, and to get the job done. Sometimes you have to tie them really tight. If the patient says tie it tighter, tie, tie it tighter. But you don't want that on a patient's arm very long. So back to finding those hard veins. Once you apply that tourniquet, give it time. Time is of the essence. You guys have heard that before. It is the same principle when it comes to drawing blood. For a few seconds, maybe a minute. Yeah, you have time. Apply the tourniquet. If it's a very hard patient, press, press. Where do you think the veins are supposed to be? Where are the veins on you? Then you feel, you press, you feel. You press these patients that you think are hard as, are not as hard as you think they are. Apply the tourniquet. Press, press, press. Follow the veins from the hand. If they're very prominent in the hand, but the patient doesn't want to be stuck in the hand, follow those veins up. Press, 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 press hard, press, press. You are going to feel veins that you did not even know were there everywhere. These are wonderful, right? Stay away from those. But follow those veins all the way up and you will find a vein. Once you do that, of course, you have to remove that tourniquet, <clears throat> get all of your things together. Now that you know you're gonna use a butterfly, you're gonna use a straight needle, whatever, how many tubes you need, go ahead and get those out. Apply that tourniquet back again and continue to look for the vein that you just found a minute before. Or when you do find it the first time, take a little pin, a little sharpie, and just let the patient know, you know what, Miss Johnson, because this is you are a hard stick and you know you are a hard stick. <laughs> Honey, let me put a little dot here with my pen so I know where the vein is. Bam, you know where your vein is. So just a little tip this morning because I get a lot of questions about hard sticks, hard veins, how to find them. That's a way to find them. Let gravity help you. If you had a patient sitting in the chair, let gravity help you. You don't have to use these arms because they're here. You have to adjust. Have the patient place their arm down. Put the tourniquet on, palpate. Yeah. You'll find it. So yeah, just a little tip. Let me know what you think. Thumbs up, share, like, comment. For those of you who are here, did I say that already for the first time? Yeah, okay, all of that. So you don't miss a video, go ahead and subscribe and uh, hang out with us with these vlogs in the mornings, in the afternoons, and all the in-betweens. And I will see you guys later. Bye. <laughs>